beside me there is another young boy he is he was around uh 11 12 years old he was crying and saying to me my father is dying my father is dying then i what i did i hold him very strong and i took him in the ground the same way i was laying up on the floor so you covered him to protect him i did covered him i i, I like hold him very strong mm-hmm. on the ground to make sure that he is not standing because i saw people whoever tried to stand they they got hurt or they got got bullied you know they got shot if they stood up yes yes was there panic around you yeah they they were screaming they are crying and blood was everywhere so you know the situation and uh, i i didn't try to go out because i was not sure how many of them were there so i didn't try out to i didn't try to go out at all you thought maybe there was more than one person and you didn't yeah. want to run into them on the way out no i didn't try at all yeah rather i was i was on the ground i called to police i called to my wife and my relatives so that uh, they can like help us by sending police because when i was calling to police i couldn't give them the right address and i don't know who have, who took the phone because i just like after 111 i just pressed the random number so i had no idea whoever pick up the call so uh, so that's why i called to my wife and my relatives Did to you make call- sure that Sorry to interrupt. Did you call your wife while the shooting was happening to try and speak to her to try and get help? Yes, yes. I I I was like I was telling to her that can you please call to police and send police here someone is killing us in the mosque. Could she and understand what was happening? Did she realize? She realized that when I was crying because I was crying I'm not able, I I was not stable. so she was understanding but she was like very you know she can't think what to do then she called to my friend and my friend said it also happened in the mosque the other mosque because my at friend Dean's went to the mosque yes dean sabinu how are you doing at the moment yeah for few days i couldn't sleep at all i was dreaming the faces i used to see in the mosque because all the people were in the most they are very close to me i used to see them every friday i used to talk with them they were really really good people they are innocent and the killer didn't give him any chance at all we had no idea and when the shooting was going on from the women's room women were screaming and they, they were shouting please don't kill us but still the killer shoot them very closely and it was horrible do you think you will be able to go back to that mosque to pray no i can't go there anymore i can't can't go any mosque at all doesn't matter is in christchurch or oakland you i th- feel really afraid What does that mean for you that you can't go to a mosque to say your prayers with your brothers and sisters? No, I feel afraid. So what will you do? I'll pray at home. And what does that mean for you to to not be able to go to a mosque? How important is it for you to go it's to a mosque? It's very important. It is very important to go to a mosque. but honestly i feel really unsafe and I, i'm very afraid and frustrated so that's why if i go in the mosque maybe i'm not able to concentrate to uh, to my prayer and you know i uh, i'll be remembering all the incident happened around me in that day